Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and welcome to today's video where I'm gonna be showing you four different ways to center elements using CSS. All right, so the setup for today's video is gonna look like this. So we have this darker outer div, which we're gonna be using to center this green inner div. All right, now I assume you guys have a very similar situation in your own projects or websites where you're trying to center something because basically you always have to be centering relative to something else. Else. So there's always got to be a parent element which you are centering relative to. All right, so let's go inside the text editor right here. As we can see, we have the outer div and then of course the inner div within that. All right, so the first technique here is gonna be using text align, okay? So I'm gonna go up inside the style tag right up here and I'm gonna target the outer div. Now, you find in most, if not all of these uh, centering techniques, we're gonna be targeting the outer or the parent element, okay? So targeting the outer div right here, we can now say a text align of center, which means any text inside here is going to be, of course, horizontally centered, all right? So if I was to save this, go back in the browser, we get no change because this right here, this div is not text, all right? Now, anything that is in line or text is gonna be affected by this text align of center. So we can actually make this div um, work with text align. So up here, I'm now gonna say targeting the inner div and I'll say text align of, sorry, my mistake guys, sorry. We're gonna say a display of inline dash block. So now the fact that it's got inline in its name here, um, it is now gonna be affected by text align of center back in the browser and we get this right here. Now, a few things about this. First off, this uh, rule of um, affecting inline elements is uh, the majority. There might be a few uh, situations I'm not aware of where this does not work for inline elements, but in most scenarios, it's gonna work that I find. And also, Having a display of inline block might uh, cause other problems with your content. So as an example, um, you can no longer um, set a height in some scenarios. Of course, um, inline block lets you set a height, but if you were to use inline, this now prevents you from setting a height on your element. So just be careful with this technique here. And also it's only gonna allow you to center horizontally and not vertically as well. The next technique is gonna be using the margin property, right? So this one here is actually gonna be done by targeting the inner div first. So we're now gonna say targeting the inner. We'll just say here a margin of zero for the top and bottom and auto for the left and right, all right? So having this auto left and right margin is going to center your inner, uh, you know, relative to the outer. So back in the browser, we can see we get this right here. Now, this is only gonna work if your outer has some sort of width. In fact, many of these are only gonna work if that's the case, um, but also this does not work for text or inline elements, okay? So as an example here, if I was to make this a span instead and then just say something like, hello, this span tag is not gonna be centered. So back in the browser and it is in a top left corner. Um, one more thing about this technique here is uh, you you can't actually say auto for top, bottom, left, right in order to make it vertically and horizontally centered. So we can see uh, putting back the uh, inner div here, um, we are going to see in the browser now that we have only the horizontal center. So having that auto top, bottom did not actually do anything. Next up, we've got centering using Flexbox. So this right here is one of the preferred techniques of these uh, five in today's video. Now, uh, this one works uh, based on uh, setting a display of flex on the outer. So let's target the outer right here and we're gonna set a display of flex right here. Now, by setting this display of flex, uh, it's gonna be very similar to the default block display of divs. So you shouldn't encounter many issues uh, by using display of flex. Now, the main part of this here is gonna be to say justify content of center. So by applying this here, it's saying, look, let's get the content inside the flex and put it in the center. So back in the browser, we get this right here. Now, the amazing thing about Flexbox is that we can actually start to uh, center things vertically. So if we say align items of center, this right here is gonna center it vertically. So we can see now it's in the center horizontally and vertically. 
So with this being said, you know, justify content does the X axis and align items does the Y axis. So this right here is really straightforward. As a bonus, you can also say something like um, flex, uh, flex start for justify content. This is gonna align it, um, you know, at the flex start in the very left side. You can say flex ends to put it in the right side. Um, of course, this right here is gonna depend on your setup when it comes to your flex, but you can also explore other properties uh, or other other values um, for, this, uh, for these two properties right here. We can now start talking about CSS grid, all right? So this one right here is gonna work in a very similar fashion to the flex example, which I just showed you. So we're gonna begin by targeting the outer div and we're gonna give this a display of grid. So much like the flex, um, this right here is gonna share similar behavior um, to uh, the default block display of these divs here. So there shouldn't be much of a problem. And also just real quick here, you guys can also use an inline flex um, for your flex box just like this as well as an inline grid if you need your parent or your outer um, to be in line for whatever reason all right so anyway going back to display of grid here um, we can now just hop down here and we're going to say a justify items of center uh, if I was to save this, go back in the browser, we're gonna get that horizontal centering as well as an align items of center. So very, very similar to the flex example, which I just showed you. So we get that result right there, vertical and horizontal centering when using a single element. Now, one thing flex does have over flex is gonna be the ability to horizontally and vertically center something using a single line. So this is done using place items. So we can now say a center right here, save this back in the browser, and now we are vertically and horizontally centered with a single CSS property right here. So this one right here is probably the most new out of all the techniques covered in today's video. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. And that is all for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.